The movie begins with the launch of a rocket in 1972. The rocket launches a tracker that is solar powered and uses the gravity of the nearest planet to pull it. The rocket is said to be able to reach the edge of the universe and its goal is to find alien life. The tracker expands as far as it can in outer space. Then we move to a novel exhibition that invites a famous novelist named Neil. In the middle of his speech, a dog attacks him and it turns out that it was all just a dream. He is just a regular writer whose book is not finished yet. He wakes up because a neighbor scolds him for his dog barking constantly. He takes his dog for a walk, and here he meets the person he likes, named Catherine. They have a small conversation, then the tracker that was launched at the beginning is found by some aliens. These aliens only laugh, and it turns out that they have found many trackers and don't care about them. One of them suggests destroying the Earth because of the pathetic behavior of humans, but they can't do it just like that. The rule is that the Earthlings have to prove whether they are worth destroying or not. Back to Earth, Neil works as a teacher and his only friend is Ray, who is a science teacher. Catherine, who is at her workplace, is scolded by her boss for protesting about an artist who doesn't appreciate her. Neil goes to the supermarket and meets Catherine, who is crying. Their conversation is only brief and Catherine leaves. Back to the aliens, they are choosing a person to give the power that can make anything that person wants happen. They want this person to use it for good, and if it is used for evil, then the Earth will be destroyed. And when they choose randomly, the chosen one is Neil, who was just hit by a car. He gets the power when he is angry at the person who hit him. The person loses control of his car, then Catherine, who is hanging out with her friend, talks about Neil, and Catherine says that Neil is a likable and kind person, but her friend tells Catherine that Neil is gay. Neil arrives at his school, but he is late, so he is scolded by the headmaster and threatened to be fired. When he sees his class, his students are destroying the class or playing around. He decides to go to the cafeteria, and he sees Ray, who wants to flirt with Rosie, but Rosie thinks he is weird and tells him to go away. While eating, Ray says that if he could, he would make Rosie worship him, and Ray asks if there is anything he wants to do. Neil answers that he wants his dog to complete the writing that he has written and his class to be shot by an alien spaceship. And his words become reality. At first, Neil thinks that it is a coincidence. When he wants to clean up Dennis's poop, his dog, he accidentally tells the poop to clean itself, and it happens. The poop walks to the toilet by itself, and Neil is very shocked. He grabs a beer to drink because he thinks he is hallucinating. Here he finds his writing that should have been destroyed because it was eaten by Dennis. Because his drink spills, he tells the drink to go back to the bottle, but the drink doesn't want to go back. But when he swings his hand, the drink goes back to the bottle. He realizes that he has to swing his hand every time he makes a wish. Because his drink is dirty, he asks for a new drink. But the drink walks to the store by itself and makes Neil and his dog chased by the police. When he is about to be caught, he asks to go back to his house and eat with Dennis. His wish comes true, but he eats dog food. When he brushes his teeth, he realizes that he caused the explosion. He asks for everyone who died to come back to life, but this brings back all the dead people as zombies. He changes his request to only bring back his students, but because he can't be sure if they are alive, he asks for the explosion to never happen, and he travels back to the cafeteria with Ray. Then we see Catherine, who is approached by her boss, but suddenly there is a person named Grant. He is an officer from Europe who once flirted with Catherine when she was drunk. And Grant comes here because he likes Catherine, but Catherine doesn't like Grant. She tells Grant to go away, but Grant doesn't want to. After Catherine's boss leaves and tells her to go, she leaves. Neil goes to his class, which is hard to manage. He asks for his students to be exemplary and easy to manage, and it works. He only tells his students to read continuously. During the break, he asks for the headmaster to be nice to him, and it works too, even though the headmaster was very angry before. Ray wants Rosie to like him, but he is ignored. Neil helps his friend and asks for Rosie to worship Ray, and it works. He starts to make weird requests, like having a good body and peeking at Catherine from upstairs. The next day, he wants to tell Ray that he has power and to prove it. He makes a skull alive and fills his room with flowers so that Ray believes him, and Ray does. In another place, Catherine is seduced by Grant, 
and Grant gives her the key to a luxury apartment that he rented for them, but Catherine rejects him. Even though she rejects him, Grant still gives her the key. Then Rosie really worships Ray. Back to Catherine, she is drunk and talks about Neil and says that Neil is good and so on. Then her friend suggests to have sex with him. Then the device that is used to give Neil power breaks, so the power is temporarily unavailable. Neil asks for Catherine to be crazy about him when his power is gone. But Catherine, who is drunk, is already here. Neil thinks that it is because of his power, but it is not. Then they have sex and Grant, who is peeking at them, falls down. The next day his power comes back, and those who worship Ray become more. When they eat, Dennis always barks. Then Neil thinks to make Dennis talk and have intelligence, and it turns out that he only wants biscuits. When they talk, Catherine comes here. Then when they talk, Dennis suddenly shouts, Neil, I love you. Catherine thinks that Neil is gay, and she leaves. Neil tries to chase Catherine to explain that he is not gay, but Catherine still doesn't want to hear any reason. She goes back to her house, where Grant is already in her apartment. He offers Catherine to wait in his apartment while eating until Grant leaves. Before that, he tells Dennis to act like a normal dog and not to talk. He then explains that he has the power to make anything happen. Neil says that Catherine will get her own room in her office with a big desk and a big screen, and also says that he is not gay, and the one who said he loves him is Dennis, his dog. When they talk, Grant suddenly comes in and a fight breaks out between the two men. Here, Catherine leaves because she is angry. Grant is defeated by Neil with his power. Neil says that he can make anything happen by saying it and swinging his hand. When he is distracted, he is hit with a pot until he faints. The next day, Catherine really gets her own room and finally believes in Neil's power. Meanwhile, Neil is forced by Grant to make all his wishes come true or else Dennis will be shot. Catherine goes to Neil's apartment and finds Ray. Ray is hiding because his worshippers want to kill him because they think Ray is God and can live again. Catherine knows that Neil was captured by Grant because last night she left him with Grant. They decide to look for Neil. They arrive at the place where Neil and Grant are. Grant immediately asks for Catherine to like him. At first, Neil doesn't want to, but because his dog will be shot, he makes it happen. When Catherine jumps to Grant, Neil takes the opportunity to free Dennis and himself. He asks for Grant to become a dog and erase all of Grant's previous requests, including Catherine liking Grant and also making all of Ray's worshippers aware. After that, Ray and Catherine leave Neil with a feeling of annoyance. When he arrives at his apartment, Neil says that he once asked for Catherine to like him, and Catherine is very angry. She thinks that she had sex with him only because of Neil's power, but it is not. Then Neil realizes that this power can be used to help many people. He asks for all the homeless to have a house, all the wars in the world to end, and the reversal of global warming. But all these requests make the Earth's condition worse. He finally cancels all his previous requests. Then because he is desperate, he decides to kill himself. But because Dennis jumps with him, he saves Dennis instead. Then the aliens decide to destroy the Earth because Neil didn't do anything good with his power and because Neil doesn't want his power anymore. He gives the power to Dennis, and Dennis asks for the source of this power to be destroyed forever, and the shot to destroy the Earth turn back and destroy the alien ship and its planets. The next day, Neil says that he has thrown away his power to Catherine, and Catherine invites him to dinner because she is sure that she likes him not because of his power. And now he is happier because he can get closer to Catherine. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.